Hi, welcome back to MRTV here today from the camping site where I'm mowing the lawn. But that totally doesn't stop me from bringing you exciting content about virtual reality. So therefore today here from the camping site. So what is this about? Well, let's talk more about the Pico 4. Yesterday it was shown to the world by Pico. Well, and it was quite a cool presentation. We heard about the fantastic price point, 379 pounds in the UK and 429 euros here in Europe for a headset that will absolutely blow away the Quest 2 in terms of hardware, that's for sure. But that's also probably quite comparable to the Quest Pro, which is going to come out a bit later, but probably it's going to be more expensive. Well, now the question is, of course, for people who are using the Quest 2 right now, is it worth the upgrade? And well, how good could you play your games wirelessly, right? If you want to stream them wirelessly, because well, the Pico 4 unfortunately does not have that display port cable. You will not get uncompressed display port um, goodness out of your PC to your Pico 4. So how good is the wireless streaming. streaming. Can it compete with what the Quest 2 is offering? And for that, for that question, I do have the answer right now, actually. I'm in very close contact with Guy Godin, the developer of a virtual desktop. Hello, Guy. And well, yesterday he told me that virtual desktop for the Pico devices, for the Pico Neo 3 Link and for the Pico 4 is ready. He has finished it and he has sent the final build to Pico. So the only thing that is holding you back from trying it out right now on your Pico Neo 3 Link is that, well, Pico has not put it yet onto the store, but that will happen really, really soon. So that is good news because, well, Virtual Desktop is, in my opinion, the best streaming software out there to play your PC VR games wirelessly on a standalone headset like the Quest 2, for example. But now, of course, the big question is, can it be as good on the Pico 4 as it is on the Quest 2? And this is exactly the question that I asked Guy Godin from Virtual Desktop. And his answer, no, it's going to be better. And that is, of course, really interesting. And um, the reason why it's going to be better or what part is better, let's say like this, what part is better on the Pico 4 virtual desktop is going to offer a higher resolution than on the Quest 2. You know, you can choose different kinds of res resolutions on the Quest 2 and on the, on the Pico as well. And the maximum resolution that you can choose on the Pico will be higher. So you will have a better looking picture on the Pico 4 when you stream your PC VR games wirelessly. And that is quite noteworthy, I would say. I think that is pretty exciting. So since it's the same app and, well, they're using the same uh, XR2 chipset, I'm pretty sure that thanks to Guy Godin's um, work, and I totally trust his coding skills, <laughs> right, that you're going to get a really very um, yeah, good wireless streaming on the Pico 4 that even has a higher resolution. And then on top of that, you get that pancake lenses, right? Where you don't have any God rays anymore. On top of that, you get that higher resolution. On top of that, you get real IPD adjustment, not just this IPD adjustment where you only move the lenses into three positions, like on the Quest 2. You get real IPD adjustment because you change the lenses, the position of two, of lenses and the displays of both, right? And that is cool. Then you have that headset that is much lighter and much more comfortable. So I believe there you have your reason, like why this could be a good upgrade for people who own the Quest 2 right now. But obviously still we need to have a look at it. I mean, I need to check it out more than the 20 minutes that I did at Gamescom. And I will do that, of course, the, the review unit should arrive pretty soon and then I will try that all out. But now having virtual desktop on the Pico 4 and it supporting even a high resolution, 
That is so good news. Then another question that came up in the community was the following. On the Quest 2 with Virtual Desktop, you can play all of your Rift games or most of them, right? Without using Revive because um, Virtual Desktop has built this fantastic compatibility with these games. And that is also like a huge, yeah, a huge plus, of course, when using Virtual Desktop on the Quest 2. And the question, of course, can you also play those Rift games on your Pico 4 using Virtual Desktop without Revive, even though this is not meta hardware? And the answer is yes. And this answer really, yeah, made me quite happy to hear that, that yes, the compatibility is just as good as on the Quest 2. So all the games that you can play on the Quest 2 using Virtual Desktop, you will be able to play them also on the better hardware, on the Pico 4, when you use Virtual Desktop on the Pico 4. So that is simply fantastic news and I can't wait to have um, Virtual Desktop in the Pico store. It, it, it should arrive there in a couple of days if Pico um, is hurrying up. Hopefully you do, dear Pico. And wow, th this is simply, simply good news. And I believe that some of you will feel more inclined now with this news to probably go down and um, yeah, simply um, put the money down. That's what I want to say. <laughs> put the money down and, and pre-order the Pico 4. Yeah. Anyways, I must also tell you that a higher resolution will mean that you need stronger hardware, PC-wise, right? So if, you, if you're using like the highest resolution on, the, on your Quest 2 right now, and then you want to use the higher resolution, the even higher resolution for virtual desktop streaming on your upcoming Pico 4, well, it will take a toll on your PC hardware, right? So in the best case, you would probably need to upgrade to a, to a better PC because you will need more horsepower in your PC to make that happen. Yes, so I simply needed to, uh, to share this exciting news about Virtual Desktop for Pico with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video here from the camping side. And if yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV, then absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.